this video I'm going to talk about the WooCommerce Archive element. Now, uh, our, this element in this element you can you are able to add a full list of um, uh, the products from your store. It's useful if you want to have a, I don't know a completely different page with a product and to set up this uh, this um, this element just let's create a new page WooCommerce Archive element. I'm going to enable this, publish this page and edit this page with a page builder. And first I'm going to construct the page custom subheader. This will add to the subheader of the page. Then I'm going to add the uh, section because I want to be able to add the element safely into a column, a full column. And then I'm just going to search for the actual element. So this is it. This is how you add it. As you can see here, this element will be rendered only in view page mode. So you have some options here. You can select the number of sorry <coughs> the number of columns and whether you want a page title or not so we're just going to leave them and publish the page so I'm going to open this into a new window so we can view the page so basically as you can see here we have a full list of uh, products and for the moment, unfortunately, we couldn't find a solution to specify a category. So we're still um, trying to figure out how to do this, but uh, probably um, it, would, it will take a bit uh, longer. So this is the WooCommerce Archive element. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if you have troubles with the element, again, uh, feel free to subscribe to our support forums and uh, ask your questions there and my colleagues will uh, assist you there. So thanks for watching and see you into the next one.